Hello everyone welcome back to my channel, let's start today information. The recent accord between the United States of America and Iraq regarding the lifting of sanctions on Iraqi banks, this agreement marks a significant milestone in the journey towards monetary reform, shedding light on the nuanced dynamics at play. At the forefront of this agreement is the notion of debt settlement a concept as old as civilization itself yet imbued with modern geopolitical ramifications. The assertion that the United States has been paid in full underscores the culmination of efforts to address financial obligations stemming from past engagements in Iraq. It signals a turning point, a mission accomplished in the eyes of some, yet only a chapter in the broader narrative of bilateral relations. Central to the agreement are the multifaceted discussions surrounding the lifting of sanctions on Iraqi banks. These sanctions, imposed as a measure to enforce compliance with international standards and address concerns related to financial transparency and security, have been a contentious issue between the two nations. Their removal represents not only a tangible step towards economic revitalization for Iraq but also a testament to the evolving nature of diplomatic relations in a globalized world. Yet, amidst the seemingly straightforward notion of lifting sanctions lies a web of intricacies. The process is not merely about the flick of a switch but rather entails meticulous deliberations and procedural steps. It involves assessments of compliance with international regulations, evaluations of financial stability, and considerations of the broader geopolitical landscape. Each decision carries weight influencing not only economic outcomes but also the geopolitical equilibrium of the region. Moreover, the agreement between the United States and Iraq transcends the realm of economics, intertwining with broader geopolitical considerations. It reflects the delicate balancing act of power dynamics in the Middle East, where interests intersect and diverge amidst a backdrop of historical legacies and contemporary challenges. The lifting of sanctions on Iraqi banks is not solely about economic empowerment but also about fostering stability and cooperation in a volatile region. The complexity of the agreement underscores the need for sustained engagement and collaboration between nations. It is a reminder that diplomacy is an ongoing process, shaped by evolving circumstances and shifting priorities. As such, the agreement between the United States and Iraq serves as a testament to the power of dialogue and negotiation in resolving complex issues on the world stage. Looking ahead, the agreement paves the way for renewed opportunities and challenges in the realm of monetary reform. It opens doors for increased investment and economic integration, yet it also necessitates careful monitoring and oversight to ensure the integrity of financial systems. Moreover, it highlights the interconnected nature of global finance, where decisions made in one corner of the world can reverberate across continents. In conclusion, the agreement between the United States and Iraq regarding the lifting of sanctions on Iraqi banks is emblematic of the intricate dynamics shaping contemporary geopolitics and economics. It encapsulates the complexities of monetary reform, showcasing the interplay of interests, negotiations, and compromises on the world stage. As we navigate the complexities of a rapidly changing world, it serves as a reminder of the importance of diplomacy and cooperation in addressing shared challenges and pursuing common goals. Thanks for watching and subscribe for more updates.